there's the stairs. Turned out pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean that's sander we sand all the edges uh, what it does it takes the really burnt parts off and kind of spreads it around so it looks real even if you just leave it all the way burnt it'll look like it's burnt on the edges one thing you need to do when you do trim is uh, soften these edges uh, it irritates me the person who built our house you just put it all up our houses in the woods and it's kind of rustic looking but they left all the edges on all the wood, and you know that gets that's pretty sharp. It really takes a minute or two. Like, come on, just take your little sanding block and sand that edge down so you have a nice smooth edge, and so you don't have sharp edges. Really, really makes a difference. And you can do it once it's up too. Ain't no big deal because we're not using no stain or nothing. So but I try to get all the edges so it looks good, and you don't hurt yourself. Like I said, it just evens everything out. It makes it look really nice. Okay, I'll continue on here. Yeah.
just wanted to give you a quick little tip. Whenever you're doing drywall, don't mud the bottom screw. Make sure you put the bottom screw always where the stud is. And uh, when you do that, when you go to put the trim on, like I'm doing right now, it saves you a lot of time because you don't have to find the stud. All you do is look and I can see all the screw holes on the bottom. And the uh, screw holes on the bottom will usually always be covered by the trim. As you can see, the screw holes are right there, the screw heads, so I know right where the, right where the studs are. So that really helps you when you're doing this. Just a little tip there. Here's the finished work. I need to uh, still need to put my lights in here. I'm gonna have four flush mounted LED lights. But that's that. Here's what the windows look like. Still gotta put a light up there above the window. But gotta put GFI in here. This outlet feeds the rest, so now I'm gonna all be GFI. And here's the loft. Here's what the loft looks like. I'm real happy with the way that turned out. My stairs. I can walk up the loft. And there we go. We had enough of the flooring left over from the bottom, so we just put it on the top too. And since there's gonna be a bed up here, um, it's going to mostly be covered with a bed anyway, so. But there's the windows. And there's the loft. And there's enough room. You can walk around up here. I'm just hunched over. Or if you're really short. But crawling around in your hands and knees is real, little, a lot of room. There's about four foot, I think, up here. Maybe a little more. Four and a half. But yeah, real happy with the way things turned out here. <laughs> Gonna put a big screen TV over there on the wall. That'll hide that outlet and all that. But yeah, have little outlets up here. We gotta put a put a molding across here. And other than that, this thing here really turned out really really nice. I really like how that turned out. What it is is a one inch subfloor with a sheet of drywall on each side and then all the all the trim work. And I screwed the, t t screwed the top down so it'd be nice and strong. Boy, it is really strong. Just to keep you from rolling off the top, you know, if you're sleeping in bed and have a nightmare or something, <laughs> you don't want to roll off the bed, it's a long way to fall. So, and then over here, just got to put my cabinets in. Got to make cabinets so then I'll finish up the trim work. So, yeah, I'm real happy. Happy to be almost done. <laughs>